If it ain't one thing, it's another. Man, damn. Let's call this. <sighs> Have you ever seen that picture of the little girl? The picture of the little girl who has that teddy bear. And there is a picture of God, right? Well, not God, technically. That's that's uh, blasphemy, but y'all get the point. It's a picture of God, and it's a picture of a little girl with a teddy bear. And she doesn't want to let go of that teddy bear. And behind God's back is things way better than that teddy bear. See, in life, a lot of times, man, we got to do things we don't want to do to get things that we actually want. A lot of times it's mind over matter. A lot of times it's fear. Fear comes from the devil. Oh, if you leave this person, uh, they're going to find somebody better. Uh, this or that, you're never going to find nobody. The devil be in your ear all day long to keep you in despair. The devil does not want you to prosper as a person. He wants you to stay in despair and um, depression. This is why people who do people wrong get rewarded with so many women and men. And this is why you rarely see two people who actually really want to do right or are actually good people and would never hurt no one. That's why you rarely see them come together, man. Because the devil always convinces people uh, of not dealing with people that are good for them. And he convinces people to deal with people who are bad for them. These are just facts, man. Look around you. It's the fucking truth. And none of us are immune to it. I'm not sitting here saying I'm immune to it. I could very easily be overlooking the, the right person and picking the wrong one. That's just what it is, man. But once you're aware of these things, you'll start to think a little bit different. You'll start to think a little bit different. I know so many people in the world. Well, I ain't going to say I know, but I see so many people in the world getting done wrong by somebody that they don't want to let go of. Or they want to let go of them, but they, they don't know how. They, they're just scared. The devil could, keeps convincing them, don't uh, stay with this person. You you put too much time in with this person. Um, everybody else cheats like they do and this and this and that and that, right? This is where the faith of God comes in. And you just got to uh, go with faith. You got to believe in God and say, you know what? This can't be what God wants for me. Look at, look at the situation and ask yourself, is this God? Does God want me dealing with a man that, that or a woman that's cheating on me, that burns me, um, giving me diseases, uh, whatever, robs me, steals from me, uses me, doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Does God want that? I'm telling you right now, that's not what God wants, but the devil wants to keep you there in despair. He doesn't want you to, um, for one, he doesn't want you to have faith in God so God can bring you out of that bullshit ass situation that you're in and it's not always relationships it could be a job it could be anything right it could be you scared to leave and go to a better job or something you could be putting up with bullshit at a job and you scared that you ain't gonna find another job same thing same thing people stop acting like it's just relationships man but a lot of y'all don't understand that it's just attachment more than love a lot of y'all think it's love but it's really attachment more than love of course you got love for somebody but once they done done you wrong you basically just kind of taking them back because you feel like you can't get better or you haven't found better or you're just used to them man ain't no way a man can see a woman flat out cheat on him and all this and go back and and he doesn't feel a certain different he doesn't feel differently about that woman he can lie to himself and hide it, try to hide it or whatever. Or she, vice versa. She, vice versa. Because it ain't just men. 
or it ain't just women cheating men too by the way if somebody cheated on you i feel like you have every right to sleep with somebody else they deserve their karma that's just my opinion or leave you know what i'm saying but I don't condone it, but I do in that situation condone cheaters getting their ass cheated on. They deserve that shit. I'm just saying. Who knows? You might fuck around with somebody and you never want to fuck with that cheater ever again. Never know. Never ever know, right? But one thing I do know is you got to let go of the curse to get the blessing. You can't get the blessing unless you let go of the fucking curse. Sometimes you just got to admit, all right, I fucked up. I made a mistake. I've been with the person 10 years or whatever. And I, and when it was, it was a mistake, it's time for me to walk away, you know? And when you walk away from these relationships or jobs or whatever the case may be, you do it for you. You don't do it. See, a lot of y'all don't want to leave because you ain't got nobody else. It's not about somebody else. It's about you. It don't matter. It don't matter if uh, my ex has uh, got married yesterday. It don't matter. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That's not going to move me or affect me. I don't care. I leave a person to do me wrong for me. Not, oh, I don't got another girl yet, so I can't leave type shit. No, nah, I'm leaving for me. I'm leaving for me. I'm not even equipped to even mess with another woman anyway in that situation. If you just left somebody, you're really not equipped to be messing with somebody else like that anyway. So I don't understand why people not leaving unless they have somebody, you know, I do understand, but I don't. You got to look at the big picture. You want it to be right next time, don't you? You don't want the same bullshit, right? So it's irrelevant if you have somebody in your life. And another thing, you got to be prepared to never, ever find somebody ever again you gotta be okay with that like i don't even care if i find somebody else again you gotta have that mentality because if you don't you're just gonna stay with what you think is the best you're gonna get you're gonna think well everybody cheats anyway and this is the best i'm gonna get anyway so i'll just put up with it and deal with the cheating and the lying and all that bullshit you don't got to man you deserve to be happy you know what i mean i'm tired of these 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 players and liars getting over on the motherfucking people that deserve to be happy and destroying them to the point that they can't even love they can't come to get two good people can't come together because they destroyed by the wrong people you see what i'm saying they are emotionally available all this other shit dealing with the wrong people man staying in relationships too long with the wrong person <laughs> you know i understand you're not going to leave until you leave i understand that. i've been there and done it but I'm telling you, if you can pull it out of you, it's best. It's best to pull it out of you when you know it's over instead of holding on longer and longer. You know what I'm saying? Letting it hurt more and more. Once somebody cheats on you, it's over, dog. I ain't, I've, all, I've, I've been guilty of still trying to uh, give people a chance after they cheat. But once they cheat, it's over. All the excuses and I only did it because of this or that, it's over. It's not going to be the same. And they're going to do it again anyway. You could say, they could say what they want. They're going to do it again because you let them get away with it. They probably were scared to do it at first. Like, damn, she's going to leave me if I cheat or he going to leave me if I cheat. Right? But then once they see that you didn't leave, oh, it's over now. It's free game. It's free game. You're never going to get respect from them that you deserve. You're never going to get the appreciation from them that you deserve because... Now that they know that they can cheat, it's just over from there. They don't have to hide it. They don't have to um try anymore. You're not going to leave. Or at least they feel that way. Eventually, you probably will leave. But at that point, you know what I mean? Why, why, uh, why wouldn't I sleep with another woman, right? Why wouldn't he? You didn't leave when he did it, right? You didn't leave when she did it. So she's going to keep doing it, man. And and it's nobody in the world's worth that. It's not worth loop missing out on someone that's actually going to be good for you. Dealing with the wrong person, man. It's just not worth it. And again, don't go searching for the, the right person right away and all that bullshit, man. Because you really need to become the right person to understand and pick the right person. 
A lot of people, man, they not going to pick the right person because they not becoming the right person. You know, this is why when you break up with somebody, you need time to yourself so you can look at yourself and fix yourself. You know what I mean? And in the meantime of fixing yourself, you start to accumulate more knowledge on relationships and everything. And then by the time I feel, I feel by the time it's meant for you to be ready for the right person, if you do it God's way, like follow God instead of trying to, oh shit, uh, we just broke up. Let me replace this one with this one. And sometimes maybe that, that is God's way. Maybe God has somebody already for you after you break up with somebody. Sometimes that could happen. It could be two people who got burned and they both come together and it works because they both dealing with the same shit. That could happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting no time living on God's time. I'm not God, right? But you need to just roll with the punches, man. Too many people trying to set per people up to have them ready when they break up with somebody. That's not going to work, man. It's not going to work unless it was meant to be that way. Which probably it's not. Because you're not ready. You're not emotionally ready for someone else because you... You can't give them their your all because you're broken. When you break up with somebody, you're broken. Period. Even even if you was already planning and you knew it was coming and all that, you still you still got to deal with some trauma through that. There's going to be some effects from that, right? But once you get over those effects, I'm telling you, man, you're going to be happy. It's not worth it. It's not worth dealing with somebody who thinks it's okay to hurt you for the rest of your life. And they're not going to close that door. A lot of y'all waiting on them to close the door. They're not closing the door. Even if they found somebody else, they still going to come around to you because they don't want you to deal with somebody else. See, nobody wants that. Nobody wants somebody they was with and, you know, was basically they had around their finger. They don't want them with somebody else. So the moment they see that you're trying to move on or leave them alone, they're going to come with that bullshit like they care and all that bullshit, man. Remember, people don't have to want you to not want you want other people. And it's on you to close the door and stop the bleeding. It's not on them. They're not going to close the fucking door. I've seen it too many times with other people and with myself. You know, I've seen it too many times. The woman's done with you, right? Don't even want to sleep with you no more, any of that shit. But she'll still come around to keep other women from getting to know you and all this bullshit. She don't want you to stop liking her or vice versa. He don't want you to stop liking him. He definitely don't want you to start stop fucking him. See, women got to understand that when it comes to that sex shit with men, they're going to keep fucking you. Why wouldn't they? But once they already checked out after they didn't cheat on your ass, they gone, man. They just there, but they, they mentally not there. Close the door. What I'm saying is it's on you to close the door. So when someone's doing you wrong, a lot of us are guilty of waiting on them to close the door. They're not going to do it. Some people feel, oh, well, they keep coming back, so they must care. No, they keep coming back. They're going to act like they care to keep coming back. They're going to hit you. Whatever move, they it's like basketball. Whatever move I use to work on your ass, I'm going to keep doing that move until you figure out how to stop it. That's exactly what they're doing. Oh, he or she still falls for that, that, that bullshit that I love them. I'm going to keep using that. I'm going to keep using it until it stops working. And it's not that people think you dumb. It's the fact that they know it works. Like, uh, she didn't leave because of that. And she's mad at me or he's mad at me right now, but I know how to make them, uh, like me again. And they'll just keep doing that same shit. It's on you to say no more. You deserve to be happy if you're a good woman or man, man. You deserve to be happy, even if it's not with somebody else. 
you deserve to be happy. It don't always have to be with somebody else. It don't always have to be with somebody else, man. It could be um, just you happy in general. But a lot of times, as long as you stay with somebody, it's hard for you to find self-happiness. Every time you try to be happy, you're, you're thinking about what that person did or what they're doing and all type of shit, man. It's so much better to be single and not worried about who's cheating on you and lying and all that versus um, being with the wrong person and worried about who's lying and cheating and all that. Now, I will say this. I think it's better to be with somebody, the right person, than to be single. I, I, I'll i say that. I'm not going to cap and say um, single is bad. All oh, is perfect and it's better than being with the right person. Now, if if you if you are the right person to make and they make you happy and both of y'all are emotion, emotionally available, you know what I mean? No, nah, that's better than um, single. But... <laughs> If you're with people who are lying, cheating, and, you know, doing all this stuff, using you and all that, mm, hell no, nah, you're better off single. You know, all you're dealing with is the mentality of being alone, but you just got to find things to do. Hobbies, um, not just hobbies, but um, things for your craft, your career, whatever. You just got to stay busy and keep self-improving. And eventually you might get to the point that you don't even want a, a woman or man. You might not even want a relationship anymore. You be so doing so good by yourself, you be like, shit, this is uh, this is love. That's that's the biggest key. Got to start loving yourself. Cuz if you don't, you're always going to re resort uh you're always going to go back to trying to find love from somebody who never probably loved you in the first place. And if they did, they don't love you no more. But you can't get past that because you still thinking in your mind, you're so used to thinking in your mind that this person cares about you and all these other things that it, it becomes a routine. So it's hard for you. What you got to do is start putting in your mind what you know about them now. Like, all right, I know she cheats on me now. I know she cheated, you know, versus, oh, she don't cheat on me. She cares about me. Once you do that for five years, that automatically you think that's who that person is. When you think of that person, you think that, you know what I'm saying? You don't think the shit that just happened or the shit you know happened, or you try to block it out your mind and act like they're not going to cheat again. And they going to, so it is what it is, man. And, and what makes it even worse is knowing that a lot of other people cheat too. So you just stay with the person you with, like, fuck it. Everybody else cheats anyway. I will just stay with them. But I'm telling you right now, no, just go alone. It's not about somebody else. It's about you. You leave a, a bad situation, relationship, job, whatever the case, for you. Not because you got something better lined up and all that shit. Now, when it comes to jobs and shit, maybe you should have something lined up. But even if, even then, if it's to the point that you feel like um, violation. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you should just like, all right, I got I got enough money saved for a couple of months. I'm about to just go off faith. And, and I trust God. You know, God don't want this for me. You know what I'm saying? That's just how you should look at it, man. That's exactly how you should look at it. It's not worth it. You know, fuck around and get pregnant by somebody who you already know don't care about you. That makes it even worse. Now your life's really fucked up. Now you really got to deal with this cheater cheating with other women. And you got to raise this kid. Now you can't get rid of him because now you got a kid by him or vice versa. You keep messing with the woman who cheated on you, get her pregnant, and you're stuck. It's not worth it, man. You know, self-improvement helps this helps out a lot to be able to close that door. And self-love. Self-improvement and self-love is the key to closing the door on, on these motherfuckers. Whether you known them two months, one day, or fucking 10 years. Because if you love yourself and you're self-improving, it's going to be hard, but it ain't going to be that. It ain't going to be so hard. Uh, you know what? We just broke up and shit. He just cheated. You know what? I'm about to just catch a plane, man, and go somewhere. You might be thinking about what happened. You might not be in the best mood, 
but it helps ease the pain. Like I still can travel the world and live life. Why am I sitting in a house, uh, worrying about what some man did that don't even give a fuck about me? He's not even thinking about me. He's over there fucking another woman. And I'm sitting here in a corner crying over a man that don't even care about me. It's not worth it. Life's too short. You only got one life. Life is too short for that shit, man. To be unhappy, man. Fuck that. It's not your fault if they don't want to cooperate. They don't want to stop cheating or whatever. That's not your problem. You know, that's just who they are. They don't know how to appreciate what they got. That's why it's old to them. I need to fuck somebody new because what I got is boring and it's old to them. It's all in their mind. They just think it's boring. It's something missing in them. That's making them feel like they're not full or, or happy. And more than likely, it's the lack of God, you know, but it still could be a lack of other things in life, like happiness and shit like that. You know, God is happiness. But I try not to just keep it on a uh, religious level. I try to keep it on a, you know, a, a, a universal level where everybody can kind of relate so they don't think I'm preaching, you know. But it is what it is, man. You just got to find ways to be happy, man. You know, and sometimes you might miss the person. Sometimes you might question whether you should deal with them or not, or go back or whatever. I'm telling you, man. Don't do it. It's going to be the same thing. And that's another thing. When you go back after you break the uh, attachment, you know what I mean? They'll do the same shit again. I know you thinking, well, they miss me and they learn their lesson and this or that. Uh, probably but at the same time, it's still, it's, it, it'll still go back to what made them do what they did in the first place, which is for one, that's who they are. For two, they just don't appreciate you. If they did, they never would achieve. They would have left. If I appreciate a woman, but I don't really think I want her anymore, or I just want to be single and fuck other women, I would just leave that woman because I appreciate the woman and, and I respect the woman. I'm not going to keep her and, and do all this crazy shit. You see what I'm saying? I just wouldn't do that, right? And neither would they if they respected you, vice versa, and all that. So close the door, man. It's on you to close this door. You got to close it. They not closing it. Stop waiting on these people to close the damn door or, or never mess with you again or whatever. They're not going to do it because you're a benefit to them. That's why people cheat in the first place. It's not because you're not good enough. It's because you're a benefit to them. That's why they cheat. They can't let you go. Just like this other car over here. My other car. It's a benefit still. That's why I didn't let it go. If it wasn't, I would have let it go for $500 like they tried to get me to do. It. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't happen, right? Even though I don't even, I ain't drove it really since. Like one time. And this is what they do, man. They don't want to let you go because you're a benefit. Plain and simple. But they're not going to give you the uh, type of treatment you deserve once they cheat because they really can't respect you because they don't have to respect you to keep you. Because you still stayed after they disrespected you in a serious manner. You know what I mean? And even on the lower levels, the more they disrespect you, the less they'll respect you. And that's the problem with relationships, man. Once it gets to a certain point, it's either people um, people who care will try to fix what they're go doing wrong. And the people who don't will just let it keep rolling the way it is and not give a fuck anymore. You know? And you don't just.